everyone. Welcome to Speedway Motors Tech Talk. My name is Steve Lewis. I'm one of the street rod muscle car techs here at Speedway Motors. Today I brought in uh, some front end pieces there that we usually use on uh, a lot of our T buckets. Uh, what I brought here is I've got some axles and uh, uh, got some wishbones and some radius rods, so we'll be going over that uh, today. First of all, our axle, the first one I got here, is our tube axle. Uh, this is set up for uh, using a radius rod type uh, front suspension and with those uh, they actually use a clevis here that uh, fits over the edge there and then uh, that screws into the end of our radius rods here. Uh, we have a couple different styles of radius rods that we brought. Uh, this first one here that we had, uh, this is our uh, regular hairpin style. Uh, comes in uh, chrome, black, uh, stainless steel. And then we've also got uh, a little bit more traditional one. This is something that was used Back in the 50s, this is called a Curtis style radius rod. And as you can sell, tell, the difference is uh, just the way the end of it is. It's a, a full uh, 180 degree there. Uh, on the back of those, uh, you can actually use a tie rod type of deal like that. And that just screws in the end of it back there. Uh, or you can use actual regular heim joint. On our wishbones that I brought here, we've got a couple different ones here. We've got our uh, solid one. And then uh, for the more of the old 50s hot rod style, we've got our drilled one that has the holes drilled in it. Uh, these also have a uh, half inch 20 threaded boss in there, and that's used to mount the spring. And it uses uh, this uh, spring adapter there, screws right in there, and then your shackle attaches to it. And then when it attaches to the front of the axle, uh, these will be used with this uh, I beam axle that we have here, which I brought our uh, chrome drop axle. With the uh, drilled for the holes, so it uh, works really nicely with the with the drilled wishbones. And when you attach that, you'll want to put this uh, flathead uh, perch bolt in through there, and it just drops through the front of the wishbone like that, and then through the axle boss there, and that gets you all set up there. Most of our axles that we sell uh, are set up for two different kinds of spindles. One of them is a 37 to 41 Ford. Uh, that can be identified because they're just round on the back side there. Four mounting holes uh, for any kind of steering arms or brakes. These holes are three and three-eighths apart. And then our other axle uh, style that we use uses what's called our modified 49 to 54 Chevy passenger car spindle. It has the same type of uh, four bolt mounting there. Uh, it just has little tabs there sticking out from the side of the kingpin boss. These uh, are three and a and an eighth inch uh, spacing. So that's the two kind of spindles that we usually use with our axles here. Uh, so there's uh, you know multitude of brake kits that we can use for them. Uh, the 49 to 54 Chevy spindles, we have those set up uh, with disc brake kits that have a Ford four and a half inch bolt pattern and then we also have them that have the four and three quarter Chevrolet bolt pattern. Uh, the Ford spindles, we uh, have the same options there for the disc brakes. We've got the uh, uh, Ford four and a half, the Chevrolet four and three quarter. We also have a, a disc brake kit available for that spindle. That's a five on five and a half inch pattern, which is uh, kind of the older bolt pattern for some of the uh, uh, older style truck wheels and things like that. Uh, and we can also put drum brakes uh, on the Ford spindle. Uh, so this is uh, pretty much just covering what we've got for what you would use on a T-bucket. Um, this type of uh, 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 axle here also uses this uh, to mount the spring and then uh, your radius rods just attach onto that. Uh, so that's already welded on. There's uh, nothing you really need to worry about. The only thing that you will need to do, and this is true with any axle, is uh, to adjust your uh, caster. And what the caster is, is the amount, uh, if you have the axle sitting up straight, is uh, the amount that the axle leans back towards the firewall. And you want to keep that about a, about a six to seven degree. Uh, that gets you some good st stability without having to worry about it. The front wheel's kind of leaning over, you know, when you turn a corner. Uh, all of our uh, items are available, uh, either on our website or you can give us a call and any of our people here will be glad to help you out there. And uh, as always, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to give us a call at, and uh, any one of our techs will be glad to help you out. And you can also check us out on the uh, 
web at uh, www.speedwaymotors.com. And uh, as always, we're always glad to help you out in anything we can uh, to get your project up and running. And uh, that's basically all I brought for you today. This is kind of a quick, easy one here for the tea buckets. And uh, um, look forward to talking to you again. And uh, tune in next time. We'll be glad to show you a little bit more of what we got to offer. <laughs>